Hi guys, uh, today I want to take you through how to connect to a VPN uh, using the L2TP IPSEC protocol uh, on your Windows machine. Uh, now just a few things we'll need before uh, we start. Uh, obviously we'll need your um, VPN username and password and you'll need the server name or IP address that you want to connect to. Uh, a list of those can be found uh, if you log into your VPN provider or your network admin can supply that. Uh, so that'll be a host name like example.com or an IP address. Okay. Uh, the pre-shared key, uh, PSK, which is just like a password and it's case sensitive. Uh, it's desirable to know the level of encryption uh, that is allowed um, and it's also desirable to know the password authentication protocol which will be PAP, CHAP, MS, CHAP or EAP uh, but we can get around those two uh, with some settings. Okay so once you have that information uh, just click the start button there and then type in control panel in the search box uh, for Windows uh, Vista and 7 users um, you can just go start control panel uh, click the first result and you'll see there an item called network and internet we want to click that and then network and sharing center I want to click that one okay so there should be an item there that says set up a new connection or network uh, we want to click that and we want to choose connect to a workplace and then click next choose the or select the use my internet connection VPN option there okay now uh, internet address that's the server name or host name and or, or IP address now in my case it's an IP address so I'm just going to pop that in there uh, destination name is just the name of the um, the connection so I'm just going to call it home VPN you might want to call it uh, perhaps the name of the VPN provider uh, for user smart card we leave that unchecked we leave uh, remember my credentials checked and allow other people to use this connection if if your uh, computer has several different user accounts and you want those uh, other accounts to be able to access this uh, connection then obviously you check that uh, if not uh, you leave it unchecked and I'd say that would be the case for most of you and then we click create now on the left hand side here you'll see an item that says that change uh, adapter settings we want to click that and you'll see your new connection there we want to right click and choose properties uh, and then we choose the uh, select the security tab okay so under type of VPN we want to click the drop down box there and we want to change it to layer 2 tunneling protocol with IPSEC and then we choose the advanced settings button there and we want to change that to use pre-shared key for authentication and then enter your pre-shared key and that is case sensitive then click on OK now for data encryption um, if you don't know uh, what level of encryption then uh, just use optional encryption or require encryption uh, for password protocol, if you do know, then obviously choose the, the protocol that uh, has been suggested to you. If you don't know, just check the allow these protocols and check those three boxes there for PAP, CHAP and MS CHAP 2. Um, now unencrypted password here, uh, it actually isn't uh, unencrypted because it goes over the IPSEC tunnel. So it's actually uh, quite safe to use PAP in this uh, with an L2TP uh, connection okay so once you've done that click on OK now for Vista and 7 users when you right click on your connection and click connect um, a username and password box will come up uh, just enter those details and click connect and you'll be right um, for Windows 8 and Windows 10 users we click connect again but uh, it'll open up this new window and we want to select the home VPN or the the VPN that we just created and then click connect now again the uh, username and password will come up so we enter those details and then we click OK and that will go ahead and connect with the server 
Okay, so that should come up as connected, but for most of you it should connect there. Okay, so uh, any questions or comments, leave them below, and I'll catch you next time, guys. Cheers.